A small crowd gathering here in Toronto this afternoon outside the U.S. consulate, unhappy with the Trump presidency. Among those voicing their concern, an American couple who just couldn't bear the thought of being at home while Trump was being sworn in. We came from Chicago, uh, having worked on the Obama campaign as volunteers for 10 years, and we couldn't face being in the United States for this day. So we came to friendly Canada. Definitely concerned that that many Americans have that much hate that they agree with the things that he says and says he's going to do. Um, that scares me just as much as him taking office. It's that, that people that I live with have that much hate. But the demonstrations weren't as peaceful in Montreal, where an American flag and an effigy of Trump were set ablaze. Roughly 200 people waved signs and shouted anti-Trump slogans as they marched through the city's downtown core. Well, another sign of anti-Trump sentiment happening right here in Toronto. We're at uh, Puck and Wings at Young and Finch, and you can see a small group of Democrats abroad are gathering here, some grabbing a bite. Before they board a bus to Washington, D.C., they will be traveling overnight to join the Women's March uh, that's happening in Washington tomorrow morning and voice their opposition to the new commander in chief. I think the people and Canadians care. Why wouldn't they? You know, not only is the U.S. our neighbor, but also it's, it's just really important that we all really show that we don't want people taking over who, who don't care about the common person. Personally, it's you know, it's because because of Trump's the way he treats women. Um, you know, not the way he treats women in public, because you know he can act. You know, <laughs> but but it, his undertones and, and and you know the the video that got released. Well, less, from an hour, less than an hour from now, uh, the bus will be leaving from Finch Station, which is located about half a block away from here. A few more are slated to leave Union Station at 8 o'clock tonight.